All right, welcome back to TCG Love again. And the last three collector booster boxes are on my table, and we will open one today. I actually wanted to open two in a video, but I think I can stretch it on two videos. Whatever, they're gonna be short, um, and then I have a little bit more time until the next set comes out. So I will open this uh, collector booster today. The next one is gonna be the other collector booster, and the third one is gonna be for the giveaway that I'm gonna do after this whole set is over. So these last two videos, uh, the last two chances for you guys to leave comments and participate in the giveaway. Um, um, the only thing you have to do is leave a comment, put this, uh, be subscribed to the channel and uh, turn on public subscription and then you can get some cards from this collector booster box. And this one got sent to me oops, uh, for free by Games Island. Uh, which will sponsor a giveaway. So check the link in the description. There's an affiliate link um, to Games Island. You can check it out. There's, I buy all my products there, and it would really help me out if you guys would check out that link, and, and it would help me out with giveaways and the future of this channel. So the first pack we are going to start here is uh, the first rare in this pack is Zella Blade of Gold Knight. Uh, three bucks for that one uh, and Andrek Sar Master Breeders one of the cheapest rares Maybe matched for us or something 261 uh, Abstruse Archaic 322 and Kikar wins fury is worth nothing One dollar and champion settlement foil It's worth and foil 375 nothing that was a very weak pack so i paid 200 no 180 or 190 uh, for this collector booster box not sure for how much they go right now but each pack here should make at least uh, 48 bucks back in order to make that 180 dollars back we didn't get the first pack it was a very weak pack maybe we get a banger here and there but Let's go with the next one and finale of devastation. That's the card. These are the cards that we need in foil. So that's pretty good. And 28 bucks for that one. Uh, Frail uh, allies Leno was furious. Pretty weak. One dollar for this edged foil. On those spirit dance extended art. 662 Azusa does but seeking. Oh, oh shit, it's a textured foil. 564, it's a textured foil. Selvala, Heart of the Wilds in textured foils. Can you see it? Can you see the textured foiling? We got a textured foil. I just wanted to say, man, we pulled the finale of Devastation and we still didn't make the money back for this pack, but holy crap, textured foil. So this is the second textured foil that I pulled. The first one was Ulomak. And I thought it's gonna be more so this one says 11 bucks but let's put it uh, to 1000 here's the number that i have to put 64 74 bucks for that one so the texture faults are not as crazy as i thought in the beginning but 74 bucks is still insane and actually i shouldn't sleep on uh, sleeving that I'm gonna sleeve that puppy up and put it in the top loader the second texture foil, they seem to be not that rare. I don't know if I got super lucky, uh, but they seem to be not that rare because the prices are not that high. I mean, these are good cards. Ulomak was a pretty good card. It's like 20 bucks on its own. And textured foils is only 60 bucks more. I think with the with the search foil from the last set, the difference was way higher. And like, I didn't get a good search foil. Like I got one from this whole Lord of the Rings thing. Either way, uh, well, Awakening Sun's Avatars, maybe a few bucks in foil. One dollar. Uh, Wayward Sword Tooth in Edged Foil might be worth something. Eight bucks, all right. Uh, Omarthus Ghost Fire Initiate. I don't think I pulled this one ever. Check that. Let me check that one out. Six bucks. And uh, Kindred Dominance, pretty beautiful card and should be also worth. 
like 20 bucks maybe, I'm not sure, maybe 15, 10 bucks, all right, I'll take it. Uh, flawless maneuver and foil, so it's not that, not that crazy, but it's not too bad. 15 bucks. Uh, not sure how much we pulled from that pack, was it more than 50 bucks? I doubt it. And the last pack. The last pack here. What do we get? That was stone sellable. Okay, first rest, treasure napper, whatever. And foil, 110. Uh, undergrowth stadium and etched foil, it's a few bucks probably. 13, alright, that's pretty good. Demon of Fate's design and foil. 715. Uh, let's put the foiling on here. Still 715. Uh, Marine of Clan Nelthos, one of the weakest cards, but maybe the profile is worth something. Nope, it's even less than a dollar. And Deadly Rolic, that's a good card. Uh, it's com the art style is completely different from the normal, uh, normal version, but it's foil. It's frame break and it's a 20 bucks card on its own. So how much is this gonna be? In foil. 34 bucks. Yeah, that's a good pull. So uh, we already threw four packs. Uh, I didn't really keep track in my head how much it was, but this guy is gonna tell us how much the total is. Uh, collect us six, 225. So we went above the buying price and that's thanks to this textured foil without this one we would have lost 50 bucks on this whole pack even though we put some good cards either way but yeah thanks to this textured foil uh, we uh, broke even more or less even a bit above which means all of these cards are for free isn't that cool isn't that great look at all these foils a few bucks are in here still but yeah let's go through the rest quickly See what we pulled. Um, nothing too insane. Of course, finale of devastation and the relic. Uh, these two are probably highest in this pack. So uh, in this batch. So yeah, that was a good, uh, good pack again. These collector booster boxes really surprised me. I thought, man, four packs. There's no way. Like there's so much variance, you can win high, you can lose high, but it seems like there's quite, um, I can confidently say that you probably will make your money back with these, uh, if you decide that that's interesting to you. So uh, thanks for watching, that's already it, uh, I'll see you on the next video, where I'll open the next one, leave a comment, you will win. You will get 22 giveaway coins if you leave a comment on this video. Uh, the more coins you get at the end, the higher the chance of winning in the giveaway. So yeah, uh, leave a comment, subscribe please to my channel if you want to see more videos and participate in the giveaway. And um, click the link in the description to the Google Sheet where I put exactly how much I sell these for. Exact numbers are uh, down there. And also of course the affiliate link if you want to support me. And see you next time. Peace out guys.